The oldest law enforcement officer in the country lives right here in Georgia, and he's been a firsthand witness to some of the most pivotal events in our nation's history, especially during the civil rights movement of the 60s. As we commemorate Black History Month, I sat down with Deputy Jack Simpson to reflect on his historic career and legacy. At almost 95 years old, Jack Simpson isn't one to sit still. I have never learned how to retire. Three days a week, Deputy Simpson works as an investigator for the Newton County Sheriff's Department. Now, I think I have uh, some of the things that they might benefit from hearing about. His memories today, just as vivid as they were back then. In the 50s and 60s, I was assigned to the Atlanta Division of the FBI. In 1963, Simpson was part of a team accompanying U.S. Attorney General Nicholas Katzenbach during the infamous Stand in the Schoolhouse Door at the University of Alabama. I stand here today as governor of this sovereign state and refuse to willingly submit to illegal usurpation of power by the central government. Then governor and segregationist George Wallace tried to block the entry of two black students. He made his little speech and he stepped aside peacefully. And Vivian Malone and uh, James Hood integrated the uh, University of Alabama for the first time. But the case that may have left the biggest imprint was a murder of Lemuel Penn, a decorated veteran killed by the Ku Klux Klan outside Athens. Simpson was assigned to investigate Klansman James Lackey, who repeatedly denied any involvement until one day he fell ill. When I was interviewing him, I, I asked him, I said, James, I said, I think you're sick because you got something worrying you. It's eating on you. I said, why don't you tell us about it? And he said, well, I'll tell you about it. His work on the case is profiled in the book Murder at Broad River Bridge, which he helped write. After 23 years with the FBI, Simpson went on to serve 20 years as bailiff for Rockdale County and has spent the last 18 years here in Newton County. Simpson says he tried retirement once, but missed the brotherhood of law enforcement too much. And I felt like I was part of a family. And when I had nothing but a rocking chair, I kind of lost my family. And now that I'm back, I'm happy. By the way, as an FBI agent, Simpson also searched James Earl Ray's car after Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated. That car was found here in Atlanta. And he doesn't just come to work at the sheriff's office either. He also writes a weekly column for the Rockdale Citizen. He's recognized in the National Law Enforcement Museum. And you can see more of his uh, interview on our CBS 46 Facebook page as well as CBS46.com. He doesn't sit still, Tracy, mm. and I think that's what keeps him going. Absolutely, and a wealth of information. Yes.